Hello everyone, my name is Nan Fan. This is an episode of Asian American Movie Reviews, where I review some Asian American movies that have Asian American actors starring them, uh, co-starring them, or play a significant role in the movie. The first movie I'd like to talk about is Better Luck Tomorrow, you know, directed by Asian American director, well known, Justin Lin. Yes! And this is one of my favorite movies because it's one of the first Asian American movies that has a full Asian American cast and director. We have the main character Ben, who's played by Perry Shin. And then there's the love interest, Stephanie, who's played by Karen Chung. And then we got the perfect boyfriend, you know, uh, Stephanie's uh, boyfriend, uh, who's played by well-known actor John Cho. Then we got the tough guy of the movie, I guess also the muscle, which is Han, who's played by, you know, famous Sung Kang, out of uh, the famous uh, Fast and Furious movies. Then he has his cousin, uh, Virgil, which is kind of like the class clown or the clown of the movie, which is played by Jason Tobin. And then we got the, um, I guess the Mr. Popular, valedictorian, smart kid of the high school. Uh, he's in all the clubs in high school, and I, I guess to me he's kind of the, the douchebag of the movie. And then he's played by, and he's Derek, played by Roger Fan. You know the movie starts out with the guys like Ben, Han, and Verge doing a lot of petty theft, and then from there they start selling drugs. You know they start leading a double life, trying to sell drugs and uh, continue to do well in school. You know, they start end up doing drugs, and the, the life starts being out of control. And then of course is the Ben's, the main character's love interest, Stephanie. You know, he's always trying to talk to her, always trying to impress her. But um, there's the, the boyfriend that's in the way, you know, he's rich, he's handsome, you know, uh, he has everything. But he's also kind of a douchebag. And then uh, eventually Steve, um, John Chow's character, for whatever reason, wants to, you know, teach his parents a lesson. Uh, I don't know, he, he's super rich. You know, um, he has money, his parents always spoil him, like, and I guess they don't give him enough attention. And he wants to act like uh, he's getting robbed. But you know, uh, Ben, uh, Han, Verge, and Derek, you know, they don't like, you know, the, the douchebag boyfriend, Steve, anyway. So instead of just, I guess, robbing the house, they decide to uh, kidnap, kidnap him and try to teach him a lesson. But uh, they take it a little bit too far. You know, um, I guess the plan was just to, you know, kidnap him, you know, beat him up, rough him up a little bit. You know, pretty much tell him, don't be a little spoiled little brat. But I guess, um, he took a little too far, and, um, they end up killing him. And so these guys, they're just high school kids. So they're young, they're tripping out, they're scared, they're freaking out, and they didn't know, know what to do with the dead body. So they gave a guy a hundred bucks, I think it was the, the guy's friend, a hundred bucks to bury him in the backyard. Now, this movie was based on a true story, and I first heard about this back in, like, 1992, 93, so I'm just a kid when, when I heard about this story. I think my brother or my mom or something read about it in the newspaper talking about like how some uh, some Asian kids, you know, uh, killed some guy and buried him in the backyard. You know, I'm just a kid at the time. I asked my brother, like, why did they kill him? Like, oh, they killed him like, in Fulton, like Anaheim Hills area or something like that. I'm like, so they gotta be rich. And right off the bat, when I heard there were Asian guys that killed someone, the first thing that came to my mind was, uh, were they Vietnamese? And then my brother like, no, they're not Vietnamese, they're all Korean. And right, out, right away, I was like, yes, I knew it. So they're Korean, they're, they're, they're crazy. Can't trust them. Uh, I'm just kidding, guys. I, I have Korean friends, but I, I don't like them. I'm just kidding. Um, like Teddy Chung, Jeff Ham, David Choi, I got you guys. And of course, uh, someone like I said, one of my Jiu-Jitsu brothers, someone very close to me, Albert Lee. You know, one on one fitness. You know, he's also. Korean and I love that guy and then this movie comes out in about 2002 you know uh, I'm still in high school at this time I think about it. I'm, I'm a senior and um, I heard about it I heard about uh, like the, four, the Korean guys killing somebody buried him in the backyard and it just blew my mind I, like oh my god someone made a story about that one incident back in Fullerton also from what I understand the character Han uh, in Fast and Furious this is the Consider the backstory of Han, and this is the reason why he moves to Japan and starts his life over again because he's wanted in the United States. I don't know, you tell me in the comments below.
So guys, my two cents, guys, Justin Lin is an amazing director. He did a great job. And all the actors, you know, they did a very good job as well. You know, uh, John Chow, you know, uh, Sung Kang, you know, uh, all the other guys did an awesome job. This is one of the great movies. If you're Asian American, I'm sure you appreciate this movie. And also, I want to thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe to this channel. And if you like what you saw, please, um, you can have your donations at the Patreon in the link below. Thank you very much. See us next time. One last thing, this Nam fan from the Model Academy. In life, you have two options. Fight or die.